the Secreto Map. London Undergrounds. Chapter 1. The Enigmatic Maps. In the heart of London, where the hustle and bustle of urban life collided with echoes from centuries past, Oliver Caldwell found himself drawn to a nondescript archive nestled between towering skyscrapers and historic landmarks. Little did he know that this visit would set in motion a series of events that would unveil the hidden mysteries beneath the city's surface. Oliver, a passionate cartographer with a keen eye for detail, spent his days poring over ancient maps, capturing the intricate lines that told stories of times long past. It was during one routine afternoon at the archive that he stumbled upon a collection of parchments bearing cryptic symbols and faded ink, hinting at a world beneath the city streets, forgotten tunnels, secret chambers, and a labyrinth of enigmatic pathways. Drawn by an insatiable curiosity, Oliver carefully unfurled one of the maps, revealing a detailed layout of what appeared to be an intricate subterranean network beneath London. Intrigued and captivated by the prospect of unearthing long-lost secrets, he resolved to embark on a journey to explore these forgotten paths. The initial steps of Oliver's quest led him to the entrance of an abandoned Victorian-era tunnel, obscured by overgrown ivy and the passage of time. Armed with an aged lantern and a sense of anticipation, he crossed the threshold into the darkness below. The air changed, the echoes of the city above fading away, replaced by the eerie quietude of the subterranean world. As Oliver ventured deeper into the dimly lit passages, the maps he carried began to align with the reality unfolding before him. The walls bore markings that mirrored those on the parchment, symbols that seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy. The underground passages, a time capsule of forgotten history, whispered tales of a bygone era. Guided by the meticulous details on the maps, Oliver navigated through a maze of forgotten chambers and hidden alcoves. Each turn brought him closer to the heart of the city's clandestine underbelly, where secrets long buried were eager to resurface. The atmosphere shifted from anticipation to a sense of awe as he uncovered forgotten relics, remnants of a time when these tunnels served purposes beyond the grasp of contemporary understanding. With each discovery, Oliver's fascination grew, and the maps became more than mere guides, they were gateways to a realm of mysteries waiting to be unveiled. The echoes of his footsteps resonated through the subterranean expanse as he pressed on, fueled by an insatiable thirst for knowledge and a desire to connect the threads of the past to the present. The journey through the underground labyrinth brought Oliver face to face with the convergence of history and myth. Unearthed artifacts hinted at a hidden society that once thrived in the shadows, leaving behind traces of their existence. The maps, now tattered and weathered, became a testament to the resilience of the stories they held, stories that begged to be shared with the world above. As Oliver continued his subterranean odyssey, he sensed that the maps were not just records of the past, they were keys to unlocking a profound understanding of the city's history. The tunnels, once silent witnesses to the ebb and flow of time, now echoed with the footsteps of a cartographer determined to decipher the enigmatic tapestry woven beneath London's streets. The first chapter of Oliver's exploration laid the foundation for an epic tale of discovery and intrigue. The hidden paths beckoned, promising revelations that would reshape not only Oliver's understanding of the world but also the destiny of a city that carried within its depths the echoes of forgotten epics. Chapter 2. The Conspiratorial Threads As Oliver delved deeper into the subterranean world beneath London, he found himself entangled in a web of cryptic symbols, secret societies, and the lingering echoes of a conspiracy that spanned centuries. 
The maps, once his guides, now seem to take on a life of their own, leading him down paths fraught with intrigue and danger. The underground labyrinth revealed not only forgotten chambers and hidden relics, but also markings that hinted at a deeper, more sinister narrative. Oliver, undeterred by the shadows that danced along the tunnel walls, pressed forward, determined to unravel the conspiratorial threads that bound the subterranean world. Guided by the map's cryptic symbols, Oliver stumbled upon clandestine meeting places and ancient artifacts that spoke of a secret society's influence over the city's hidden realms. The markings on the walls became a language of shadows, each symbol a piece of a puzzle that hinted at a power struggle playing out in the dark recesses beneath London. Oliver's encounters with the clandestine society left him with more questions than answers. Whispers of rituals and hidden agendas fueled his determination to unveil the truth. The city's underbelly, once a sanctuary of forgotten lore, now revealed itself as a battleground between forces that sought control over the subterranean power. As Oliver navigated through the subterranean passages, he encountered enigmatic figures, keepers of the underground secrets. The Rat King, a creature with dominion over the subterranean rodents, revealed cryptic prophecies etched into the walls. Moondust nymphs, guardians of forgotten passages, spoke of a balance teetering on the edge, threatening to plunge both the surface and the underworld into chaos. The maps, once detailed records of hidden pathways, now bore witness to the growing tension in the subterranean world. Oliver deciphered markings that hinted at a looming conflict between the ancient guardians and the secret society that sought to manipulate the power hidden within the depths. In a dimly lit chamber adorned with ancient symbols, Oliver uncovered a pivotal artifact, a key to the subterranean power that had long eluded the eyes of the world above. The artifact became a focal point in the conspiratorial struggle, a symbol of both enlightenment and peril. As he ventured further, Oliver became a reluctant player in the clandestine power play. The maps, now annotated with his encounters and revelations, transformed into a chronicle of the underground war that raged beneath London. The symbols on the walls became more pronounced, as if the very stones were infused with the conflict's energy. Oliver's encounters with the secret society intensified, as did the stakes of the conspiracy. The once silent tunnels now echoed with the whispers of power-hungry conspirators and the determined footsteps of the cartographer. Shadows danced along the walls, mirroring the dance of secrecy and revelation that defined the subterranean world. The maps, now more than ever, guided Oliver through a landscape of shifting allegiances and hidden alliances. Every chamber held secrets, and every encounter added a layer of complexity to the tapestry of the conspiracy. The city above remained oblivious to the turmoil beneath, but Oliver sensed that the time for concealment was running out. In the dim glow of his lantern, surrounded by the weight of ancient stones and the murmur of subterranean echoes, Oliver realized that the second chapter of his exploration had thrust him into a realm where the lines between history and myth blurred. The conspiratorial threads that bound the subterranean world now entwined with his own fate, setting the stage for a revelation that would reshape not only the hidden depths, but also the destiny of those who dared to unravel its mysteries. Chapter 3 Creatures of the Depths As Oliver Caldwell ventured deeper into the subterranean labyrinth beneath London, the enigmatic maps led him to the heart of a hidden chamber, a sanctuary untouched by time. The air in this ancient space felt charged with a palpable energy, as if the stones themselves held the secrets of centuries gone by. The maps, 
now well-worn companions on Oliver's journey, guided him through a series of forgotten corridors that gradually opened into a vast cavern adorned with ornate carvings and illuminated by the soft glow of luminescent fungi clinging to the walls. The chamber, a testament to the craftsmanship of a bygone era, seemed to exist beyond the reach of the conspiratorial shadows that lurked elsewhere in the subterranean expanse. As Oliver entered the cavern, he felt a shift in the atmosphere, a subtle hum that resonated with an ancient power. The symbols on the walls, intricately carved and bathed in an ethereal light, told a story of an ancient covenant between the keepers of the underground and the forces that governed the subterranean realms. In the center of the chamber stood an ancient altar, adorned with symbols that mirrored those on the maps. It became clear to Oliver that he had stumbled upon a sacred space, a nexus of energies that connected the subterranean world with the roots of London's history. As he approached the altar, a presence materialized, a spectral figure that seemed to embody the essence of the underground itself. The Guardian of the Covenant, a spectral entity with eyes that gleamed with the wisdom of ages, spoke to Oliver in a language that transcended words. Instead, it communicated through images and emotions, revealing the untold history of the subterranean world. The Guardian unveiled the origins of the Ancient Covenant, an agreement forged between the Guardians of the Underground and the surface dwellers to maintain a delicate balance between the two realms. The luminescent fungi, now pulsating with newfound vigor, represented the life force that bound the Covenant together. Oliver learned that the clandestine society, the secret keepers of the subterranean power, had long strayed from the path of the Covenant. Their thirst for control and manipulation threatened to destabilize the delicate equilibrium that had sustained both worlds for centuries. In a vision projected onto the cavern walls, Oliver witnessed the pivotal moments when the ancient Covenant was established. A council of wise beings from both the surface and the underground came together, recognizing the need for harmony and cooperation. The images painted a picture of unity and shared guardianship, a stark contrast to the fractured state of the present. The guardian's ethereal voice echoed through the cavern, urging Oliver to restore the balance that had been disrupted by the conspiratorial actions of the secret society. The maps, now imbued with the energy of the Covenant, unfolded new pathways that beckoned him to continue his journey. Guided by the luminous symbols on the maps, Oliver traversed passages that resonated with echoes of the past. He encountered murals that depicted the symbiotic relationship between the surface and the underground, a reminder of the forgotten bond that the secret society had forsaken. As he moved through the subterranean network, Oliver felt a renewed sense of purpose. The maps, once tools of exploration, now became instruments of restoration. The conspiratorial threads that had ensnared him in the second chapter of his journey were now unraveled, replaced by a mission to mend the ancient covenant and preserve the delicate balance that sustained both realms. The third chapter of Oliver's exploration unfolded as a quest for redemption and reconciliation. The symbols on the maps became beacons of guidance, leading him to the hidden corners of the subterranean world where he would confront the secret society and unveil the consequences of their actions. In the profound silence of the cavern, Oliver acknowledged the weight of responsibility that now rested upon his shoulders. The labyrinth, once a mysterious enigma, had transformed into a tapestry of history, myth, and the imminent need for restoration. The journey ahead promised revelations that would not only reshape the subterranean world but also redefine Oliver's role in the ancient covenant that bound the destinies of the surface and the depths below. Chapter 4 The Unveiling Darkness 
As Oliver Caldwell delved deeper into the subterranean world, the symbols on the maps guided him through labyrinthine passages that echoed with the whispers of the past. The luminescent fungi continued to illuminate his path, casting an ethereal glow on the ancient stones that bore witness to centuries of hidden history. The maps, now infused with the energy of the ancient covenant, unfolded before Oliver like a cosmic scroll, revealing a narrative that transcended the boundaries of time and space. As he followed the symbols, he sensed an impending convergence, a meeting point where the threads of conspiracies, ancient covenants, and the destinies of both worlds would entwine. The subterranean passages led Oliver to a colossal cavern, a vast chamber adorned with towering stalactites and stalagmites that seemed to reach towards a central point, a nexus of power that pulsed with an otherworldly energy. It was here that the secret society had established its clandestine stronghold, hidden from the prying eyes of the surface. The symbols on the maps guided Oliver towards an entrance shrouded in shadows, concealed by illusions that only a cartographer attuned to the ancient covenant could pierce. As he approached, the air became heavy with an ominous anticipation, and the whispers of the past grew louder, urging him to unveil the secrets that lay beyond the veil. Upon crossing the threshold, Oliver found himself in a chamber bathed in a sickly, green glow. The clandestine society had erected a vast network of tunnels and chambers, transforming the once natural cavern into an artificial realm governed by their insidious ambitions. The conspirators, adorned in cloaks woven with symbols of power, were gathered around an altar adorned with the artifact Oliver had discovered in an earlier chapter of his journey. The artifact, pulsating with an otherworldly radiance, seemed to be the focal point of the society's nefarious machinations. As Oliver observed from the shadows, the society's leader, a figure shrouded in darkness, invoked incantations that resonated with the ancient power sealed within the artifact. The cavern trembled as the ritual unfolded, echoing the imbalances that threatened to rupture the ancient covenant and plunge both worlds into chaos. Silent as a wraith, Oliver crept closer, his steps masked by the echoes of the ritual. The maps guided him with a newfound urgency, revealing hidden passages that allowed him to navigate the clandestine labyrinth without detection. As he approached the altar, Oliver felt the weight of the artifact's power pressing upon him, a force both captivating and malevolent. The conspirators, unaware of his presence, remained entranced by the unfolding ritual, their faces obscured by the hoods of their cloaks. With each step, Oliver became more attuned to the pulsating energy that emanated from the artifact. It whispered tales of forgotten covenants, ancient guardians, and the delicate equilibrium that had long been disrupted by the society's insatiable thirst for power. As he reached the heart of the chamber, Oliver revealed himself, stepping into the green glow that bathed the conspirators in an eerie light. The clandestine society, startled by his presence, turned their hooded faces towards him, a collective gaze that conveyed a mixture of surprise and disdain. A tense silence hung in the air as Oliver, guided by the maps and fueled by the revelations of the ancient covenant, confronted the conspirators who sought to manipulate the subterranean power. The artifact's radiance seemed to respond to the tension, pulsating with a rhythm that mirrored the collective heartbeat of those present. The society's leader, undeterred by Oliver's intrusion, spoke with a voice that echoed through the cavern. You, intruder, are but a pawn in the grand design. The power we harness will reshape the destinies of both worlds, and you cannot thwart the inevitable. In response, Oliver, 
armed with the knowledge of the ancient covenant and guided by the maps that now glowed with an ethereal brilliance, began to unravel the conspiratorial threads that bound the secret society. He spoke of the forgotten balance, the covenant that once united surface and underground in harmony, and the consequences of disrupting the delicate equilibrium. The cavern resonated with a symphony of conflicting energies, the malevolence of the clandestine society's ambition clashing with the reverence for the ancient covenant. As Oliver presented the maps, now adorned with symbols that pulsed with the energy of the subterranean realms, the clandestine society faced a revelation that transcended the confines of their secret of enclave. In a climactic moment, Oliver extended his hand towards the artifact, summoning the dormant power within. The cavern quivered as if the very stones themselves acknowledged the return to balance. The maps, now ethereal conduits of ancient wisdom, projected visions onto the cavern walls, images of the forgotten unity between the surface and the depths below. The clandestine society, now confronted with the undeniable truth, recoiled in disbelief. The artifact's glow waned as the ritual's resonance faded, leaving the conspirators in the shadow of their failed ambitions. As Oliver navigated the labyrinth of the clandestine society's stronghold, his journey reached a pivotal juncture. The last chapter unfolded as a confrontation that echoed through the subterranean depths, resonating with the triumph of ancient wisdom over modern conspiracies. The maps, once tools of exploration, became symbols of restoration, illuminating Oliver's path forward. The whispers of the past urged him to continue his journey, not only as a cartographer, but as a guardian entrusted with the preservation of the ancient covenant that bound the destinies of surface and subterranean realms. With each step, Oliver Caldwell ventured further into the labyrinth, the luminescent fungi and ethereal symbols guiding him towards the final chapter, a chapter that promised resolution, revelation, and the restoration of the delicate balance that had long eluded both worlds. Please watch the other videos from our playlists. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with new captivating mysteries.